so welcome back to my channel it's Shantae Sway here today and today we're going to be doing a comparison video and I'm really excited about this video because a lot of you on my Dyson video let me know that the price point of the blow dryer was a little bit too expensive and I, we're gonna be doing a comparison of, of the Tymo air hype blow dryer versus the Dyson blow dryer comparison between the two I have my Dyson blow dryer here as well as the Tymo air hype light blow dryer here so i have tried the um original version of the timo blow dryer but today it's going to be the timo air hype light blow dryer and it has an even lower price point guys it's only 99 dollars. really excited to compare the two because dyson's blow dryer is almost 500 dollars after tax and i definitely want to see what is better or at least give like a kind of like side by side comparison for you guys in case you are in the market for a blow dryer or if you've been eyeing the dyson but you just do not want to take that big leap to spend that price point i'm going to give you guys all the details on this new blow dryer since this is my first time trying it out so this is definitely going to be a first impression you guys can leave your comments down below on if you think that it's worth it to go the dyson route or if you would definitely be going the timo route when this video ends you'll kind of see like the comparison of both sides of my hair so i have the two blow dryers here and i am going to start off with definitely um should i do the Dyson or the air height first. I think I'm gonna start off with the air height first. So I'm gonna start off with the Tymo. This hair dryer I actually like. I've opened it already off camera. And just from appearances, I really like the way that it's really lightweight. So this is definitely a blow dryer that you're gonna be able to take on uh like trips with you. So so this is the Tymo Air Hype hair dryer. It also has a number of key features, one being that it's a high speed hair dryer. So it has efficient drying capabilities as well as stable airflow and it also reduces your dry time up to 50%. So you can actually customize your drying experience from choosing from the three different air settings on the hair dryer, depending on your hair care needs, of course. And despite these impressive capabilities, uh, this is actually a lightweight and compact design for your hair, which is going to prevent that fatigue feeling in your arms. So yeah, that light compact design is definitely one of my favorite features. So if you wanna get like a diffuser, a comb attach attachment and things like that, then they have that on their website. But with this compact set, they just have the um, blow dryer uh, like little thing here <laughs> so i was trying to decide if i wanted to compare like the diffuser or the comb i'm gonna do the comb attachment today this is such a price jump from this one and we're gonna see if they can kind of do the same thing or if one is better of course we are going to put a heat protector on my hair um so i'm gonna go ahead and start off with sectioning my hair I'm gonna take the blow dryer and all you have to do is pop this on. Put it on. Okay, so that is the first pass. And so far I do like this, but I'm gonna go over the back a little bit. So guys, as I initially mentioned, I absolutely love the fact that this is a compact hair dryer and it's super light. I did not feel any fatigue in my arms and that to me is very important because my arms hurt a lot. I do have a lot of hair and that is just amazing feature. It also has built in ionic technologies, which is going to help reduce frizz and help keep the hair silky and as well as provide a healthy amount of heat to the hair. I also like the fact that it has an advanced thermal control feature. So this dryer does operate quietly and it also has the um, cold shot on it. So if you wanna do like a cool shot, you can do that as well. Um, it does go up to 210 Fahrenheit, as well as it does have four lower temper op options if you want to choose a lower temperature. And it also has a built-in sensor. So there's a lot of features on this little tiny lightweight hair dryer. Done with that section, now we're gonna start on the next section. Oh my God, my hair looks so cute though.
me then if we never met, babe? If we never met. So I am completely done with the Taimo side. Now I'm going to do the Dyson side and I'm going to try to go quickly so that this doesn't get frizzy because my hair, um, it gets frizzy if I leave it out too long or if I'm like touching it or whatever, it just will get frizzy. So I'm going to hurry up and do this side of the Dyson and then we're going to come back with final thoughts. Okay, so this is my hair. This is the Dyson side and this is the Tymo side. Um, right off the bat, I wanted to give my kind of like comparison. So with the Tymo Air Hype Light, which is going to be, of course, this blow dryer here. I feel as though this blow dryer was very light, like they mentioned. Um, it was very easy to maneuver and things like that. And as I mentioned, it's gonna be really good for travel and just taking it with you, um, like in your bag or something like that, um, compared to the Dyson, which is a little bit more heavier. It's not that heavy, actually it's really, uh, compact as well so they're both really compact but this is a lot more slimmer than a Dyson I did notice that this comb attachment is a lot more smaller than Dyson which honestly would be good for someone with shorter hair for me I would like for the um, comb to be a little bit longer but that was pretty much my only complaint with this otherwise I feel as though this air blows out so strong and for it to only be $99, this is a really good blow dryer because I'm gonna let you guys do your you know, comparison down below and leave your comments and your thoughts and things like that. But as I mentioned, this is the Dyson size and this is the Tymo size. And for Dyson to be almost $500 and for Tymo to be $99, do you guys think that it's a big enough difference in my hair, as you can see here, for you to pay, you know, $400 more for the blow dryer. So that's kind of like where my thoughts are. Dyson, of course, is not a bad blow dryer. It's an amazing blow dryer, dryer and it has amazing features on it. But for Tymo to be $99, it shouldn't be running neck to neck like this. Like I should be, 
I shouldn't be running right neck to neck like this. Like that's just my final thoughts on it. I asked my um, boyfriend which side looked better and he, he told me that he couldn't tell. He said that they both look the same. That's just gonna be up to you to decide. But for me, I feel like that with the Dyson side, I do notice that it, it feels a little bit flatter but the Tymo side, um, I noticed feels flat as well. So it's honestly, <laughs> it's honestly like, I don't know. I feel like they're running too close. Like they're running neck to neck. Like this is giving the same thing that this is giving. So if you are needing a more affordable hair blow dryer and you're not wanting to spend uh, the $500 price point, then I definitely recommend that you go with the Tymo Air Hype Light because it's going to be running neck to neck with the um, Dyson blow dryer. So it's a good dupe. It's a good dupe for Dyson. It's gonna be up to you on if you want to go like a more cheaper, um, affordable route, or if you wanna really splurge on a blow dryer and go the Dyson route, um, you can do either one. I actually think that with the air hype being, um, being that it's a high speed hair blow dryer, I think that that's a really good price, like to be honest. And they also have a lot of features as I mentioned in the video. So you're getting a lot of the features that you need on a blow dryer for, of course, our natural hair anyways, with that price point as well. That's my final thoughts. So it's all gonna depend on what you wanna spend and how you wanna spend it and things like that. So I am very curious to know if you guys can tell like which side looks better or your thoughts on the comparison. I'm super curious to know. So please, please, please leave your comments down below because I am going to be checking um, for those type of comments. Yes, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video and thanks so much to Timo for sending over your air hype light high speed hair blow dryer. I absolutely love this dryer. And I feel like that is really good and affordable blow dryer. So thanks so much to them for sponsoring today's content and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.